What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to focus in on the preliminary roster for uh, the Canadian World Junior Team. Obviously, some very notable names uh, that would be in the NHL if there wasn't a lockout right now. But uh, head on over to TSN.ca. They got the the in-depth roster of 37, and you can you can focus a little more from there. I'm going to focus on the guys I got making the team, and then um, as the tournament gets closer do lines and stuff, and I'll do the same thing for Team USA. Yeah, when I say do lines, I mean line projections, not like Charlie Sheen lines, so don't hear with that for you. Um, starting with the goaltenders, I got Malcolm Subban of the Boston Bruins. I'll start and open tonight. Kids can be relied upon to be the number one. He'll be uh, 19, he'll turn 19 right before the tournament starts and show why he was drafted so high. And then I got uh, Laurent Brassant from the Edmonton Oil Kings and who uh, Jake Peterson from the Saginaw Spirit backing him up. Uh, Calgary and Detroit prospects, respectively. Defense, this is where the toughest decisions are going to be made. There's going to be some really good players that are going to get sent home. But um, we got Dougie Hamilton from Boston Bruins. Uh, Nag Rice Dogs, first round pick, 2011. See what he can do. He'd be in the show if there wasn't a lockout right now. Uh, Scott Harrington, another returning player. Great shutdown defenseman. London Knights, Pittsburgh Penguins. They'll be in Pittsburgh in, in due time. Uh, Morgan Riley, who I'm really excited to watch play some more. The more I watch him, the more I like him. Um, from the Moose Jaw Warriors, fifth overall pick for the Metal Leafs last year. We've seen what he can do. Uh, Matt Dumba, one of the other top ten defensemen in the draft. Top ten picks that were defensemen in the draft. Uh, from the Red Dare Rebels, Minnesota Wild. We've seen what he can do. Physicality, offense, great shot. Uh, Ryan Murphy, defenseman, Kitchener Rangers. Uh, Carolina Hurricanes pick, offensive-minded guy. Can really put points on the board and move the puck and really jumpstart a power play. Uh, the final two, two spots are going to go to uh, Derek Pouliot of the uh, Portland Winterhawks and Griffin Reinhardt of the uh, Edmonton Oil Kings. So we got the big Western Hockey League contingent on the back end. In fact, four out of the seven and the other three are uh, Ontario League guys. This is just my projected. So, um, like I said, Pouliot, Pittsburgh Penguins draft pick, and uh, Griffin Reinhardt at New York Islanders draft pick. Both very good players, both first round picks. Uh, forwards, Jonathan Huberto. He's going to be uh, relied upon. To, I think he's going to be playing some wing with uh, Nugent Hopkins. We'll talk about the Nuge in a second. But uh, we got Huberdo, who would be in the NHL if there wasn't a lockout. Uh, and then we got Boone Jenner, Columbus Blue Jackets. We've seen what he can do. Um, bring, some, bring some physicality. He's one of the leading goal scorers in the Ontario Hockey League right now. So that's uh, that's all you need. Uh, Mark Scheifele, we've seen what he can do. Winnipeg Jets prospect. Barry Colts. He's played seven games on the show. He was on the team last year. Uh, there you go. Uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. There's a guy, you know, like I said, will be in the NHL. Was one, was one of the leading candidates for the call through last year. Ended up losing to, to Landis Gog. But, um, you know, can really play the game great on the offensive end. And really uh, didn't make the team two years ago when he was 17. But he's going to make it now at 19. I guess what's one of the perks of the lockout, I guess. Uh, first overall pick, Nathan, projected first overall pick, Nathan McKinnon. Uh, I'll be... Should be on the team. Uh, from the Halifax Moose heads along with his teammate, Jonathan Droin. Uh, two of the elite young players in the queue that will be relied upon to, uh, to put points on the board even at 17. Uh, Ryan Strom, one of the leading scorers in the Ontario League, will be uh, will be on the team. We're seeing a new player from last year. Would be on the New York Islanders if there wasn't a lockout. Uh, Hunter Shinkrock, a uh, draft eligible player from the what's he, oh, Medicine Hat Tigers. Look for him to make the team. Um, you know, kind of give you some more offense, and like I said, he's really playing well as of late, and they could use his uh, production. In terms of physicality, I got Anthony Kamara, Boston Bruins draft pick, and then Barry Colts uh, making the team kind of a long shot, but he wasn't even on their radar coming into the year, and that's how, good, how much he's improved in terms of all facets of the game, real physical, real grinded up forward to call him in, uh, Boone Jenner, and then Tom Wilson, uh, the freshman pick by Washington last year from the Plymouth Whalers, having a great year. And uh, they'll, they'll need the grit and tenacity to, uh, to punish teams. Tyra T from uh, the Portland Winterhawks got him making the team. St. Louis prospect, one of the leading scorers in the Western Hockey League, now one of the best players in the Western Hockey League right now, playing on uh, one of the best teams. And then for the last two spots, I got Brett Ritchie from the Niagara Ice Dogs, Dallas Stars draft pick, and I got Colton Sessions, National Predators prospect from the Kelowna Rockets. Uh, like I said, I'll do the lines next week, but this, that's all I got for now. Um, I want to hear what you guys have to say about who I left off and who Canada left off not bringing to camp. I'm really, as a resident of, of Florida, I'm kind of upset I'm not going to get to see uh, Slater Kokuk, the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning's first round pick out there, but we'll see what happens. That's on this episode of Power Play with CJ on 
Canada's preliminary roster for the WJC. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.